Where is he? Where is he? He's right there. He's okay, okay, okay. Is he filling up? Yes, he is. He's, he's on. He's got to leave. There we go. You got him. Oh yeah. Did I get him? yeah. Yeah, you got him. Oh, I did. Here. Okay, we have our subject. You know, it's not easy finding a mosquito, let it suck your blood, and then catch it. I learned this. Uh, it takes a little while to find, get it just right. Anyway, I have in my hand here a mosquito that has sucked blood from my arm. I was able to catch it. And uh, right now, hopefully, it's digesting my blood uh, in its abdomen. Uh, and what I want to do is, um, after a couple of hours or so, uh, I'm going to take the blood out of the mosquito. I'm sorry, I will have to kill it. Um, but uh, <laughs> all in the sake of science, right? Anyway, um, come back in a couple hours and I will have, not you, me, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what happened to my blood under the microscope. Stay tuned. All right, so we are actually 20, about 24 hours later. Uh, I said two hours, but um, I decided, you know, it'd probably be good to wait maybe 24 hours, and that way give it a lot of time to digest, see what the blood cells will look like after they come out of the mosquito. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this mosquito into uh, the freezer for just a little bit. And what that'll do is it'll calm the mosquito down so that when I open the uh, the container, it isn't just going to fly out. It can, uh, it'll be a little lethargic. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, it's been one minute and I'm going to lift it just a little over a minute. And check it out. There it is, right at the bottom there. Okay, we're in the lab now. <laughs> That's what I call it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and it's starting to wake up in there, so I better put it in. I'm going to put it into this little Petri dish. Okay, so here's our subject. And um, so I don't know if it's dead or not, but uh, this would actually, uh, it, I know it's not frozen because I only put it in for a minute. And uh, so it wasn't cold enough to where it would freeze immediately. Um, and so I'm going to, you see right down here, it's in the Petri dish. And I'm gonna extract the blood in just a little bit. All right, so this is uh, this video coming up here. This little clip is my blood. I I drew it from myself. This is normal blood, and uh, this is so that you can get an idea of what normal blood is compared to what it's going to look like in the mosquito when I take it out of the mosquito's abdomen. Um, so here's 24 hours later from the mosquito's abdomen, and you can see there is a major difference between. Uh, this and uh, my normal blood. These are my blood cells here that you can see. It looks like the hemoglobin has essentially leached out of the of the blood cells. Um, and here you can see this is the actual abdomen of the mosquito. And there's these little things. You can see these little pieces in here. And I'm wondering if these are eggs. I'm not positive, but I can't think what else this could be inside the mosquito's abdomen. But you see here as we zoom in, you can see the hemoglobin just kind of drifting around outside of my blood cells. And, um, and but wow, what are these things here? They, they almost look like feathers because um, they have like a tip, uh, and a tapered tip. And, um, but I can only assume that maybe these are the actual eggs that are developing inside of the mosquito. There's the abdomen on the left, and then on the right, you see the eggs, and, uh, yeah, 
so this is a real good, you know, magnification of, uh, of these objects. Maybe somebody out there knows what they are. It'd be very interesting to, to confirm if these are, in fact, eggs. Here we have, again, my blood cells. Now, what I think is happening here is, is that um, the fluid on the outside is different from the plasma in my bloodstream. And I think we're getting a hypotonic situation where the, uh, uh, the water is wanting to rush into the cells and then expands and ultimately will burst in many cases. And so you might even see in some of these uh, images here where you'll see the cells actually bursting because they're becoming too big and they end up uh, bursting. And that would be a hypotonic scenario versus hypertonic. Isotonic is where you have an equality between the inside and the outside of the cell wall. Uh, so look at that. Isn't that crazy? It's amazing how much is going on in such a small space. Uh, it's almost like a universe of its own. And you can see the different layers. You have some top layer and bottom layer. You can see actually some of the cells going underneath other cells. Um, so there's just a myriad of cells going across right now. You could almost use this as a screensaver. It uh, really has a hypnotic quality to it. Look at that. And there are all those pieces of whatever they are, eggs. So it really didn't take too much blood for it to um, give us this much information about the contents. Wow, that was just incredible. You know, it's just amazing. My blood in this mosquito, you know, it took the blood out of my, out of my blood vessel and put it in its abdomen, wait, cook for 24 hours, and then see what we get. And we see that uh, it doesn't look all that great afterwards. It looks like a wasteland. Anyway, if you like the video, please click on my other videos and take a look at them. And uh, I'll be sure to have more videos coming in the near future. So until then, stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.